Good morning, people, family. Look alive. Ah, no pun intended. This is Ryan Murray and Andrew Murray coming at you from the beautiful San Joaquin Valley. It's October 4th, 5th, I think it's the 5th, almost at the end of harvest season. And today we're going to be going on a little adventure. We're going to be looking for one of our relatives, John Dietrich, who was buried in a local cemetery, Mountain View, back in 1906 when he died. Uh, I think it had to do something with maybe tuberculosis, but they have heart failure on the death certificate here. So apparently he's in an unmarked grave at a cemetery. We are going to go try to track that down and see what we can find. He is the brother of George Dietrich who came out here from Canada and later my grandpa Bill followed him and Bill is some of your your guys' dad and uncle or uncle or grandfather. So we're gonna go find out what we could do. Okay people we just got off the 99 Turned on Belmont, coming up here on the cemetery. It is called Mountain View Cemetery. Coincidentally, it's the same cemetery that the nonprofit I'm involved with, the Garden of Innocence, is located. So, Frida, or Grandma, seems to think he was buried by a road. So, we will have to figure out which road and where. So let's go talk to the director of the cemetery and try to find out where John Dietrich was buried over a hundred years ago. Okay, just got back from the office and they know where his grave is and we're gonna go find it right now. Someone's gonna escort us, and my sidekick and I, right? Here. We're gonna go find John Dietrich's unmarked grave, who's been unmarked for over a hundred years. Okay, uh, Andrew and I are walking out to where this this relative has been buried for over a hundred years now. He's out here by a fence, and we're making the stroll. Sounds like someone's coming along here. So we'll see when we get out here where he's buried and if he's by that road that Grandma says he is. There goes our guide. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. There he is searching for someone who's not been found in over a hundred years. Let's find him. This has been John's surroundings for a while now. We are right up against the eastern side of Mountain View Cemetery, almost along 99. And it is, I would say, quite peaceful out here. Still searching. Why is nobody buried here? Because you you never know. 
Yeah. You know, that same empty here. I guess you don't want to dig down and mm -hmm. hit they, someone. They bones or something that uh, that's why. Uh -huh. So according to the map, yes, uh -huh. he's right here. Okay, so we think we found the, the gravesite of John. He's buried over here. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I'm holding my sidekick. He hasn't learned to walk yet. So I guess he's buried. We're using this as a reference, Dolores as a reference. He's right in line east on the east-west parallel with this. Dolores is right here. And then we skip one. We're skipping this one. And he should be right here. John Dietrich, 1906. Passed now for over a hundred years. No mark, nothing. So now that we found him, I think we're gonna get some money together and put something out here. Should really appreciate that. Or he'd probably say save your money. Whatever, we're gonna do it anyways. And as far as a road, maybe there was a road right here back in the day. Going along the freeway, there's some, I guess some homes over here. But we're on the eastern side of Mountain View Cemetery. And here we are looking west. Well, his neighbor's been James Barclay. Year after he passed, 1907. So it is an older section. Once again, he's right in line with this. And Try to do some research on uh, this house he died in. See what the location is, where it is. Maybe it's still there, probably not. But let's see where this house was and we'll try to get back to you guys. All right, talk to you later.